say. Uh, I think it's going to have a lasting and very permanent impact. But it's going to take a while for its benefits to come through to the American people. So we're going to have to be patient. Great picture of you and all the former living presidents, I think, in the Oval yeah, Office last great. week. I think that struck a real chord with a lot of people. Uh, what was the kind of advice that you gave Mr. Uh, Obama? Uh, staff members of the vice president and the president need to work together and, and, th and how to make sure we've got adequate briefing on matters that might create a crisis in the future. I'm curious uh, your thoughts on Guantanamo. Uh, the president's been pushing for closure of that and to get out of the military tribunals uh, yes. down there. Uh, a lot of people think that's a mistake, letting these no, it, terrorists to get back into the world to fight against us. Well, John McCain said the same thing even earlier than Obama did. Uh, uh, days, I have 51 interviews. Wow. Obviously, so you, this is the most important one of all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you so much. It's been a thrill for all of us here. It has and been. for our viewers at home, we're really happy you took the time out to be this with us. This is your, what, 24th book? 24th book. 24 yeah. books this man has well, written in That's the way I make my keeps, living. Keeps him very sharp. <laughs> he said the same thing even earlier than Obama did. Every reasonable person in America that believes that we ought to be maintaining the highest standards of basic human rights and moral values agrees that the uh, initiation of a prison there to torture people and to keep them in prison without uh, legal defense and without any accusations made against them. It is the best possible plan that you can come forward with. Uh, obviously, you have to compromise a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, to get it through the Congress, <laughs> but we'll uh, I think it's going to have a lasting and very permanent impact.